What's up, everyone? This is Antoine Thomas. I want to talk about something I think is very important. I want to here, here, here's a situation. Have you ever been asked by a client or someone you know, hey, how's the real estate market? How's the market right now? And have you ever been in a situation where you had that dialogue and you explained to them what the market was like, but you didn't get anything from it? Meaning after that, it was just kind of a, it, the conversation closed and then you just never really heard. You never got a commitment from them. You never made a commitment. It was just, oh, I told them what I, what I felt the market was trending and then now we're done, right? If you have been in that situation, this is the video that you really want to pay attention to, okay? Now, it's funny because this is a question that you will get often in uh, gatherings, whether it could be parties, it could be any type of networking events, stuff like that, that we typically go to. You will get this question multiple times, okay? Now, a typical agent is going to respond in in, in a couple ways, all right? Obviously, a few ways. Number one, um, they'll just respond, hey, the market is busy, or uh, the market is slow, or it's a seller's market, or it's a buyer's market, or oh, currently right now, interest rates are historically low. Okay, I want to I want to say something about all of those uh, answers or responses. They hear that all the time. If they wanted that information, th number one, I'm sure they already knew that. Number two, they could have just Googled it. Okay, there are so many blogs that are out there that are saying the same things that I just rattled off. The market is busy, it's slow, it's the it's a seller's market, interest rates are low. They already know that. All right. The problem with this type of response is it's likely the conversation will not uncover an actual need that the person you're talking to may actually have, okay? It's not really uncovering anything. They're asking you that question and you're not uncovering if they have an actual need. So instead of saying the market is busy, respond with this. That's a great, so how's the market? You know, that's a great question, uh, Jonathan. There are a lot of great things going on in the market today, but I'm just, I gotta ask, I'm curious, uh, what part of the market are you specific, is specifically important to you? What part of the market is specifically important to you? That is a, a better way to respond to how's the market because now you're going to get down to exactly the bottom line of why they're asking that. What about the market is specifically important to you? Or what part of the market specifically is most important to you? Whichever way you want to phrase it, all right? Now, the key by asking that, you want to uncover a strong need, okay? You want to uncover a strong need. You want to find out there's something there. And if there is, then you need to go ahead and close for a consultation or an appointment. Or at the very least, uncover the need and then follow up or nurture with them in the future, okay? You, you don't just want to partake in small talk and get nothing from it, okay? Book, book the consultation, book the appointment with them right there on the spot, especially if you're already talking, you already, you most likely know each other. So go ahead and book the consultation, get something from it because ultimately they, if you uncover there's a need there, it is then your duty to handle and come up with a solution to their problem or whatever their need is, all right? Be curious, actually be curious in people ask great high quality questions, all right? 95% of the objections that you get in your in whatever you're, you're doing, I don't care if it's real estate, if it's just uh, tip, if you're selling a product, I don't care. 95% of the objections, uh, the objections that you're getting is because you're just not asking high quality questions, right? The quality of the answers you get is directly related to the quality of questions you are asking. Let me say that one more time. The quality of the answers that you get is directly related to the quality of the questions you are asking. So if you want better answers, you need to ask better questions. All right, so I hope that was valuable for you. How's the market is a typical question you'll get quite often. Get something from it, help them uncover a need, bring a solution. You can only do that by asking high quality questions. You know, that's a great question. There are a lot of great things happening in today's market, but I gotta ask, what part of the market specifically is important to you or is most important to you? That is the one, okay? Write that down, get it memorized, all right? All right, I hope that was valuable. If it brought some value, please do me a favor. 
uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If there are any additional um, objection handlers, or that's not really an, an objection handler, but another way to hand, handle how's the market, uh, leave a comment and I can come up with another one. Very easy to do. But I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.